Welcome to the Sonia Agency Site User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll cover the very first step, which is signing in. Let's get started. So who is Sonia? Sonia is actually not a person at all. Sonia is an internship placement management system that is web-based. That way, all parties involved in the internship process, students, agencies, preceptors, and field coordinators, all can manage the internship experience more efficiently. Students can access the site to find internships, submit their compliance forms, and submit timesheets. And as a preceptor, you can view and update agency compliance forms. So that organizational agreement we had to get at the beginning to vet your agency as an quote unquote approved site with the university. Well, now we can all do that in Sonia, which is kind of amazing. Plus, you can view all the students at your agency with their corresponding preceptor. We'll talk more about that in a later tutorial. And view student project management plans to make sure they're on track. You can fill out the midterm and final evaluations. You can approve timesheets. You can even advertise internship opportunities by semester, cutting out the middleman. You can even schedule interviews with students through the program. It's pretty cool. Plus, the field office uses it to monitor and evaluate student internships for quality improvement. Sonia is amazing and hopefully will make everybody's life 10 times easier. So step one, signing in. First things first, you will need access to the internet and an internet browser. For optimal performance, we suggest using Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. And you might want to bookmark that URL that you're seeing on your screen there, https colon backslash backslash internships.unr.edu. You should have actually received an email from the field office on how to access Sonia in addition to establishing your password. You will need that password to log into Sonia. If you didn't receive that, it means one of two things. One, your agency might not be in the system, or two, uh, something's wrong with your username and I just have to fix it on my end. So just get me an email here, Melanie Flores, Melanie f at unr.edu and i'll get you all set up so let's see what that actually looks like logging in oops okay so here is your basic web page i am going to type in i'm going to make the caveat here do not i'm going to say it again do not put www if you do that it'll take you to a, a broken link so either put https and that whole Thing in front of internships.unr.edu or you can even just type in internships.unr.edu but we'll do HTTPS here internships.unr.edu go okay so this is what you're probably going to see we are in the very beginning stages of establishing Sonia with, with the university and we're piloting it with two schools, which is the School of Social Work and the School of Community Health Sciences. So you can see there's still a stock image of some random school looks like in England or something like that. That'll all be changing to be officially UNR branded. So just be patient with us as we make all these changes. So on this page, you just want to make sure that you click on the correct school, which is the School of Community Health Sciences. And that will take you to your welcome page, gives you a short little welcome message telling you what Sonia is, and also the panic contact, which is me, Melanie Flores, the field education coordinator within the Nevada Public Health Training Center, and how to contact me. Um, I am very open to providing you with technical assistance, whether you want to do it via GoToMeeting, Zoom, or I will even visit you at your place of business and walk you through it, or we could do it over the phone. I just want to make sure that you get the assistance for using this program that you need to be successful. Because once you get into it, I think you're going to love it. A few things to notate here. Um, there are some links here, like if you want to go to the CHS website, or um, sometimes when I talk to you guys, we talk about the PAC internship and things like that as part of Nevada Career Studio or the Preceptor Handbook, things of that nature. I want to point out here the most important document, the Bible for accessing Sonia is the site user guide. So just click on this link. It will download the site user guide. This is what it looks like. It's a, a little bit robust. I spared no detail. I'm hoping it will walk you through even with some screen captures. 
um, to walk you through the system. This table of contents will really help you because I broke it down by steps. And a matter of fact, all of these video tutorials will be by steps. So as you see here, step one is signing in. Um, so you don't have to read the whole thing from cover to cover. Just go to the step that you think that you will need. Of course, everybody will need signing in. But another important step is step four. If you want to make an advertisement, which means you're telling us that you want students during a certain semester or approving timesheets, things of that nature. And we'll walk through that in later tutorials. Okay, let's go back to Sonia. Another thing I want you to notate is the role. So when you're signing in, if you click the, the drop down menu, you'll see there's actually three different roles, the student role, the site role, and the field coordinator role. You want to make sure you're on the site role to log in. If you're a UNR employee, you can sign in using your net ID and password that you use for everything else. So just click this university sign in. But if you're not, if you're an outside agency, then you want to go with the username and password route. Now, as I said before, I sent you an email. You established your password already. You should be good to go. Um, your username is going to be your email address that we have on file. So if that is wrong, you're not going to be able to log in. But you should be able to log in with that email address and then the password you established and you press sign in. If you get here, and you didn't get that email, you can also click this forgot password and that's another way you can establish your password. Or if you just forgot your password, that's another way to establish a new password. If for some reason you keep putting in your username and password and it's not working, email me. It might be something to do with your username and I can fix that very easily. I am a resource for you. So I'm actually gonna log in as the Nevada Public Health Training Center. So I just click signing in and then you can see it looks very similar. The only thing that diff is different is all of a sudden I have um, a few more documents. The links are the same. So now I have access to the preceptor guide here as well. The site user guide is here. I see my name up here. This is your preferred language. If you want to establish a different language, um, this is your settings cog. If you want to establish um, some settings like a new password or you want to put a profile picture or something like that. I'm going to walk you through all of these tabs here. So the home, the student, the placement offers, all of that, um, but in a la later tutorial. So I think this is good enough. We are successful. Step one, you signed in. Congratulations.